Matthew 11, verse 15. And it reads, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. First and foremost, all praise, power, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, who teach well and rule well, who taught me this truth in its entirety according to the Bible. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect, the fellow laborers, the Akim, pushing this truth at risk of their own lives throughout the four corners of the earth. To the Akwath, listening and learning, Shalom. Well. It's your brother Shema from the Pillars of Benjamin Camp here in Toronto with another lesson. Quick edification, feed the sheep, feed the lambs, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai. Title this lesson. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear, right? Yeah. Meditating on this precept, Matthew 11, verse 15, we'll get right into it. Red letter, straight out of, straight out of our Lord's mouth. He that hath the ears to hear, let him hear, right? When we're pushing this word, when we're, when, we're, when, we're, when, we're, when we're teaching this word, you know, those that are going to hear are going to hear. And those that are not going to hear, you know, so be it. Right? He that, he that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Right? John, John, John chapter 10. Right? And chances are, if you're going to hear, it's because you have the elect. Lord willing, we have that number. Right? John chapter 10. Verse 27, and it reads, it's red letter. My sheep hear my voice. Right? Who, who, who are the sheep? The elect. Beginning with the elect. Right? The hopeful elect. Lord willing, we're of that number. Right? The elect are the sheep who hear the voice of Yahweh Shai. Right? My sheep hear my voice. Right? Yahweh Shai's voice. And I know them. Right? Yahweh Shai knows, knows who his sheep are. Yahweh Shai knows who the elect are. And they fought and they follow me. Right? And we're gonna follow, we're gonna follow the word. We're gonna follow the 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 the, 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 the commandments. The law, statute, of commandments. We're gonna follow Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Wherever, 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 wherever it's gonna lead us, man. And I give and I, and I give unto them eternal life, right? Eternal life. Ultimately, the elect are going to be delivered, right? And sit in the throne with Yahweh Shai. Revelation three. Revelation 3 verse 20 and it reads behold right red letter once again these the, the these are the words of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai Hamashiach right the son who the world every calls Jesus right behold I stand at the door and knock right Yahweh Shai stand at the door and knock knocking on what door the door of your mind Right? If any man hear my voice, right, the elect are going to hear his voice. Right? And open the door, open the door of your mind. 
right? I will come into him, right? Yahweh Shai starts, starts, comes into your mind, right? Starts working on your mind, right? And will sup with him, and he with me, right? Starts to open your mind. This, this wisdom, knowledge, this understanding, my, this wisdom, this knowledge, this understanding. Cause we all, we all were once dry bones, dead, deaf, and dumb, spiritually dead, zombies, right? Verse twenty-one. Here's the point: To him that overcometh, will I grant to sit with me in my throne, right? Overcometh to the end, endure and overcome to the end. Right, Over, overcome, overcome Jacob's trouble, overcome the, the the plagues and the pestilence and the famine and the sword. Right, to him that overcometh will I grant to sit with me in my throne, even as I also overcame and am set down with with my Father in His throne. Right, we're gonna sup, we're gonna we're gonna overcome, get those new bodies beamed up. Lord willing, we're that number, the elect, the hopeful elect. And we're gonna sit down with Yahweh, where Yahweh shy, man. Right, but we gotta endure, we gotta overcome. Right, Job five. Job five verse nineteen, it reads, He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Right, six troubles. This is this pertaining to the elect to be delivered in six troubles. Right? Yeah, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Right. The seventh trouble, seven being completion. That seventh trouble is that nuclear fire, man. That destroying wind. Right? In famine he shall redeem thee from death. Right? This is the elect. While everyone's bugging out and starving, the elect will be redeemed from death. And a war from the power of the sword. Right? While everyone's bugging out and dying by, 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 by the sword. Right? We'll be delivered. We'll be redeemed from that. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Right? The destruction, that destroying wind. We won't be afraid of it, man. When Esau's armies go begin to roll, the devil coming down having great wrath. We won't be afraid of that, man. Right? Verse 22. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. Right? And that's what's coming. Jacob's trouble, destruction, famine. That's part of Jacob's trouble, man. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. Right. Some of us, some of the some of the some of the some of the tests of the lek you have to be, you're gonna be on the move, man. You may be running through bush, forest. Wild animals gonna be out there, man. Right, but, but, but we know Yahweh by Shem Al Shai is goddess. So there will be no fear. For thou shalt be in the le in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. Right. Uh, just like Daniel and the lion's den, uh, and the lion's mouth was shut up. That's what's going to happen with these beasts, these wild beasts, wild animals. When the when the elect is is, is navigating through the destruction, man. When, when the elect, by 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 guidance of the hand of Yahweh Bashim El Shai, is navigating navigating their way through 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 the scourges, through the destruction, through the famine, through the through the death. That's overcoming. That's that. That's that. Th th this is overcoming to the end. He that overcometh to the end. This is this this this. These are the tribulations that the elect will overcome. But you're gonna. But you're gonna have to have that hedge, man. You know what I mean? You're gonna have to have that hedge. Back to Matthew 11. Close out. Matthew 11 verse 15 He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. But whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows. Right? This this ge this generation. Right? Is, is a generation of 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 those 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 that are are, are supping with Yahweh Bashim Shai and those that are not. Right, those that are su supping with Yahweh Bashim El Shai are the children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows. 
those fellows, those the, the, the calling unto the fellows is is, is are, 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 are crying aloud, sparing not, telling Jake to get right, repent, right? Verse 17, and saying, we have piped unto you. And who's doing the piping? The elect. And he have not danced. And who's not dancing? The, the two-thirds of our people. We have mourned unto you, and ye have not lamented, right? Mourned unto you, telling you destruction's coming. Telling you this place is done. Telling you to get right. Telling you know the Most High, Yah Bashim El Shai. Right? The two-thirds are not going to hear it, man. You know what I mean? The Most High is only supping with the, with, with, with the election. Right? Two-thirds are a people. They're just not going to get it. The most I put that spirit of, 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 of slumber, of deep sleep on them. You know what I mean? Isaiah 6 verse 9. Isaiah 6 verse 8, and it reads, Also I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send and who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. Right? Isaiah, Isaiah is represented, re, re, representing the elect. Right? Verse 9, And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not. Right? This people. Who's this people that's going to hear, but not understand? Two-thirds of our people. The most I put the spirit of sleep on them. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Right? They're not. They're. They're. They're going to see. You're going to. You're. You're going to. You're going to spit. The, you're going to spit. Spit the doctrine at them. Tell them get right. They're not going to hear it. They're going to see what you're saying, but they're not going to. They're not going to understand it. They're not going to see it. They're not going to perceive it. Right? Why? Because the Most High put put, put the spirit of d d dumbness on them, man. Verse ten: Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears. I understand with the heart, heart being mine, and convert and be healed. Right. And unless the Mosai takes this, this block off of you, you're not going to be converted and healed, man. Then said I, Lord, how long? Verse 11. Right. Isaiah said to the Lord, Mosai, Yabashim El Shai, how long? And he answered, until the cities be wasted without inhabitant. And the houses will man and the land be utter desolate. Right. So, uh, so, so ultimately, until destruction come in, that spirit of sleep, that 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 deaf and dumb eyes that they see and perceive not, it's going to be on the two thirds, man. But yeah, I pray edified. You know, just some some precepts I was meditating on. Stay prayed up, prayed without ceasing. Kwame Asherella, wa abad. Ba-ba!